where the old pier is. But I'm in uh, Livingston Irons and we're coming down to have a look at the old pier and the tide is well out. Hello, welcome to another little vlog. We are here to shoot something that's not got any water around it because I've just spotted it out of the corner of my eye. Um, we're going to go and have a look anyway. If we don't take any photographs, it'll be a case of just a, we're here for a walk and a scouting mission and just to show them where, where the old pier is. But I'm in uh, Livingston Irons and we're coming down to have a look at the old pier and the tide is well out. We were here a little while ago. Well, we've been here all morning. We've been shooting the um, Celestial Dawn shipwreck or boat wreck. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, check out last week's video. It's up there. But yeah, this one, I'm going to go down and have a look at this old pier, take you down and show you it. I've been here before and I'll pop up a, photo, a photograph of what I took last time I was down here. Um, but it's busy, the sun's coming out. It's a Sunday, so there's going to be plenty of people out and about today. So we're just going to have to keep our social distancing the best we can, two meters and all that. Plenty of sanitizer and uh, I've got me appropriate footwear for the beach. As you can see, I've got me sandals on. So uh, let's go hit the sand, shall we? We uh, naughties with donkeys? Don't know, she's talking about naughties and the donkeys. I don't know what it is. We've got some donkeys down on the beach. How cool is that? Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you my L bracket on my camera, I think, uh, because we're definitely not gonna be getting any interesting photographs, not with people around it. Maybe something a bit simple, just a simplistic shot with dark sky, old pier, bit of sand. I uh, can't see much else actually working unless we can magic something up out of nowhere. So I'm gonna show you my L bracket that I've modified. Um, I did a video a little while ago about the um, small rig L bracket I got on my X-T4, which is gonna be my camera going forward. I would have thought, I've still got the X-T3 and it's gonna get used and abused a little bit more than the X-T4 is, but I'm definitely gonna be using the X-T4 for more and more adventures as and well I can. Now that I've changed the L bracket, um, what I've done is thanks to Trevor, um, forgotten his name, name's going up on the screen. Um, he said he had a, he modified his L bracket slightly. I've had lots of people mention to me after the video about changing the bracket, doing this, doing that. But he sent me a little metal bracket that similar, simple, you know, simplicity that what he did to his and changed it slightly. So I've taken his idea, tidied it up and made it fit my L bracket perfectly. And now it is absolutely fantastic. Probably the best L bracket in the world for the X-T4. No, that's maybe an exaggeration, but it's really, really good. And um, I'm quite excited to be using it going forward and trying it out. And I'll explain the reasons why in a couple of minutes. The sky is amazing, because if you're looking through this video camera, it's absolutely fantastic. Denise has got her camera out, as you can see, and the sky is actually looking absolutely amazing. But she likes this line. See these lines leading this direction? She's just got this thing about these lines leading your way. I'm not quite sure what she's looking at as a photograph, because to me they lead you out of the frame. But uh, if it works, I'll stick a photograph up as soon as I've finished videoing her. It's just falling. It's just falling in the hole. Who has? It's Tell them, you tell them, of all the beaches and all the sand and all the world that they could walk into, they wanted to walk into your photograph. Go on, you tell them, babe, you tell them. Walk over that. There's the copper top of that. Which 
picture for the sake of a picture, but I actually quite like the shape of this pier and that and the two-tone. I like the yellow and the dark gray sky. So I'm going to take my camera out. I'm going to take a shot. The hardest part of this is going to be cloning the people. There's a lot of people over there. If I do a long exposure, it will make some of them disappear. But the ones that are static, I might just be able to brush out a little bit. And you've got the police helicopters out again as well. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can make one. Let's see. I've got to make a photograph of this. I've got to somehow try and make something work. Got to. All right, you can see now I've got my camera on the go and it's actually taking a few exposures at the moment. Um, but I want to try and explain my L bracket. You can see my L bracket is standard. This is the one that come with it. This is the uh, small rig L bracket. And you can see it's got this nice fancy wooden handle. But on the other side, I had this major issue that I couldn't turn the screen round. And I've now modified it. Like I say, I've modified it that the screen now, and I know I'm doing it long exposure, the screen will tilt all the way round, which means I can now articulate my screen turn it any direction I want because there's nothing in the way just here and what I've done is I've just made this little bracket like I say Trevor sent me this piece of metal over I've modified it I've drilled it tapped it out and put some screws in it and I've moved my old bracket forward this is also going to aid in another benefit and I'll explain the other benefit in a moment but this is a little benefit that I didn't think about before but that now means I can use my old bracket on my XT4 and my screen at the same time so let's see if I can explain the shot I've got and what I've gone for. Um, as you can see, you can see the pier. This is the newer pier. I've got the newer pier coming in from the top, top right hand corner. And I've got the couple of stanchions uh, going down into the sand. And what I like about this image is the fact that that sky is so, so moody and the, the colour on the sand is quite bright and nice and orangey looking. Uh, this is definitely going to stay colour because I just like the two-tone in it. Now I've done an exposure of about 10 seconds. Now, I'm just going to have a look on the back of the camera and zoom in. And if I zoom in on the back of the camera and I have a look and see, there are hardly any people in the pier whatsoever. So for 10 to 15 seconds, anything like that is actually going to get rid of anybody on this pier. So that's the plan. Eliminate people by using a long exposure. That, I quite like that. I like that idea. I like that. So now I'm going to try and do another one. But let me just explain this and show you this. You see that there? That's what we've done. We've added this little piece of metal there. I've cut it to length, a little shortened it a little bit than what I had before. I've tapped two screws in the back, which means the L bracket is now moved from this position to this position. It now means I can open the flaps on the side quite okay. And I can even, if I wanted to, I can tuck them underneath out of the way so they're not there at all. Uh, so that is going to work quite nicely. The screen now articulates all the way around and I can spin it all the way around without it actually interfering with that L bracket whatsoever. And when I switch it to all, uh, when I orientate it round, and I'll show you that one moment. Right, battery went dead as well then at the same time. Right, so when I switch it round into um, portrait for want of a better word vertical the l bracket is now sitting further forward you can see that on the camera it's there so now when i do a panoramic and i actually spin this round like so it's actually spinning closer to the nodal point now i know it's not a nodal slider i know it's not a nodal point but i've moved my center now my center point to somewhere in between the lens rather than in the body so i've actually moved that so that might actually help doing panoramics but again the screen you can now flip the screen down like so I can look up at the camera and if I'm facing down and I've got the camera right up in the air like you see me do before I can flick that round and I can have the camera screen facing down so I've got that orientation and I've got that orientation but there's no limitation there's nothing on the back of that now apart from the um, mounting screw that gets in my way so I think we're on a winner for that I really do so let's see how we get on with it. But yeah, I thought I'd let you show you that. Right, I want to get another shot of this and I definitely want to get that really dark sky in it. So I'm going to move around a little bit more to that side and see if I can get the same shot from the other side of the pier and maybe do a triptych and have one from this side, one from the middle and one from the other side and see if they work together as a set. This is definitely the worst conditions, people-wise, being on a nice beach, a clean beach, and a nice weather, nice conditions, nice and warm, because there are millions of people here. Well, quite a lot, anyway. 
I'm going to change my lens over. I'm going to put the longer lens on. So I'm going to have to take my filter back off. Um, put that away. I'm going to put the longer lens on because I want to zoom in on it. And I'm also going to do a bit of a focus test as well. I've got this, this new 18mm lens that you see me. It's not 18mm, the 80mm lens that you've seen me mention before. And uh, I'm going to put the long lens on. And this is really difficult working in these because we've got sand everywhere and we really don't want the sand on the inside of the camera. So unlock that, take that off, drop that back on straight away. We don't want sand on the sensor, do we really? There's no wind, it's pretty safe to do it. Right, I'm gonna take that off the front. I've got a filter system on the front, so that's okay. Drop that in my bag and I'm gonna zip my bag up to make sure we don't have any sand going in my bag. Sand and cameras do not mix at all. Right, so now we've got this lens on. I'm gonna spin that back round like so. Lock that off. And I'll take it off of that mount and clip it onto that mount because that's where it's more secure. Take the lens cap off, chuck that in my pocket. And then we're gonna have a little look at this, see if we can get this to work now. So let's put the screen around there. Let's tilt that up. This is two shots. I've taken one on the um, 80 mil, and I'm going to take one on this lens. And I know, without even without even taking the photograph, that through this lens, that is blisteringly sharp. I've said it before. This lens is by far the sharpest I think Fuji make. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we're going to put the filter back on. We focused on the pier filter back on let it catch up with itself on exposure there we go it's giving me 20 seconds two second timer ISO 160 F not sure what I'm on oh I'm on F20 not good I'll wait till that's finished and I'll uh, change it in fact I won't I'm gonna knock it off I'll kill it halfway through there's no point in doing it like that I want to be on F16 I've obviously knocked it when I got it out of the bag right switch it back on that's better 13 seconds <laughs> we're right this time and we're just going to see the difference of comparison i'll put the two images up next to each other one with the 80 mil lens and one with the 5140 lens uh 1680 and a 5140 um but this is definitely going to be sharper This is still baking itself. Uh, the base exposure was 13 seconds. That'd be between two over and two under. So uh, it'll be working itself out quite long exposures. There we go, a bit quicker now. So that's a quicker exposure and then a quick one. All right, I'm gonna knock that off. I'm gonna head back underneath the pier. You wanna see what these two are shooting because the dark part of the sky has moved slightly. shot is from the left hand side of the pier not the right hand side because while I've been doing all the talking the lights moved so uh, <laughs> we've got to go back again but anyway it's nice being out it doesn't matter sometimes you can't always bake on the perfect conditions I had pretty good conditions in last week's video and if the tide was around this it'd be really really good but I also know the tide on this beach comes up extremely fast and the last time I was here um, I'm pretty sure I videoed it one of my very first early videos it came in so fast it was hard to keep track of it all to be honest um, but yeah let's shoot another shot from this side again all I'm doing is going for very simple basic uh, exposure there's some people behind it so I'm trying to move myself in a position where the people are almost obscured by the posts which is somewhere around there I think I can just about get past Mr Rowe with the long lens on and we'll try that definitely the one dark grey sky light uh, highlighted contrasty um, sand and then the uh, woodwork on the on the old pier and there are some people sitting having a picnic behind it but for a beach that's got people on it it's quite a clean shot 
Then I think what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to go round and I want to try and get it shot at an angle. I've never shot it at an angle, so let's see if I can get a bit of an angle on the shot and shoot it at a different dimension. I'm not sure if I was recording back then, but I've changed my position slightly now. And just down here in the in the bottom down there, you can see it's quite light on the ground, so I like the tone. I'm going to take one from this position and I'm going to go up a bit higher because at this position I can see the horizon through it, and then a bit higher I'll uh, put the horizon line behind it so you can see sand through it. So let's try this. Let's give this a go. Lens cap in the pocket and uh, switch the camera on and we'll try and line it up and see what we can get from this angle. The sky behind it is fantastic. And um, this time I'm going to put it on the thirds. I'm going to balance it on the right hand side of the shot. It's quite clean at the moment. There's not too many people. I'm mainly saying there's people walking into it now. It's all about the sky, very little sand, because we don't want that. I'm going to put it right down the bottom, breaking the rules a little bit on that way, and just have a massive, massive sky. Focus on the pier. Make sure the horizon's level, because it's not quite yet. It is now. Lock it off. F16, so I'll get maximum time I can. First of all, I'm going to take a shot without the filters on, and then I'm going to put the filters on. So there's one without. Now I'm going to put the 10 stop on, just to really bring up as much time as possible, let it set itself, there we go. It's given me base exposure of 10, uh, eight seconds. So that should just, any people walking around here should disappear. But like I say, for a beach with people on, <laughs> we're not doing too bad. But the light bit of sand is definitely a two-tone contrast. And it's really quite nice. This will work in monochrome as well, in a black and white. All about the sky and that little bit of detail with the pier. I'm just waiting for another exposure to finish at the moment. Uh, I've just come around a little bit further again, just because that little light patch is, uh, I can see the circle around it. And it's just making it work. I just think it looks quite a good little shot. It's a very minimal shot. And I've got it really low again with the sky, uh, all about the sky. Um, I've just called, called them two over. I'm trying to call them two over so we can walk back that way on the hard sand rather than the soft sand. So. Um, I actually think that's a quite good shot. I quite like it. With, there's, there's people in it, but I can get rid of them. F16, ISO 160, the base exposure is 10 seconds, and then the rest, uh, two over, two under, which is giving me a lot longer in between each. F16, um, that's about all I can do, really, on conditions like this. So I think I might as well call it a day. Don't forget, I have a calendar. Um, I'm sure the calendar is still available. So uh, yeah, if you want to check out the calendar, um, 2021, I've got a few left. So yeah, please, please check that out. I'll send a link, put a link down in the description. So all I wanted to do really was tell you about that L bracket, shoot a nice minimal shot of the pier because we're up in this area anyway. So I'm going to do, uh, do one and I'm going to go home. I'm not talking right, I don't feel right. <laughs> and it feels a bit strange. Oh look, they're actually coming towards me now so we can walk on the hard sand. Right, I'm going to go. Till next time, don't forget to check out next week's video and last week's video because we were down shooting the uh, Celestial Dawn, which is the shipwreck, and it looks a lot better than what this did. But I still think there's a pretty good shot here considering the conditions, and I always make something out of the conditions, don't I? Let's face it, you're out, put some effort into it and you'll get there in the end. Till next time, ciao for now. Bye-bye. come over this way because it's easier to walk back the beach on the hard stuff than the soft stuff. We'd be a struggle and we can get you a donkey. <laughs>